they get like the sun bears and moon bears, put them in little cages, like in a warehouse, so like how they keep chickens, but it's a fucking like 40 pound bear. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Pop, 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 pop. What up, pussies? We are... What's fucking bird? What's cracking? We're back. Episode 76. Just me and DZ in the house today. We are man down. Joey K is unavailable this week. We'll be back next week. Uh, next week, too, we've got a surprise coming. We're going to be doing a YouTube video and an unboxing of a bunch of random mysterious gifts from the deep dark web. Listen. Oh. Listen, for uh, if you watch these podcasts on YouTube, you're already subscribed to the channel. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if you're not, go to Friendly Flyers YouTube channel because there's going to be content coming. All right, the mm-hmm. podcast will be coming as normal, but yep. we're also going to do some videos. We've had these ideas for a long time, mm-hmm. and probably next week we'll execute the first one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a few ideas, man. It's going to be fun, fun times ahead. We're um, we're we're making it work. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, go follow the YouTube. I am thinking because mm. a lot of cold ones inspiration on my end with a lot of my ideas and things mm. I have for this show. Um, they do like they'll mm. do the videos and stuff, and then they have the Patreon version. So like the people who subscribe there, it's like extended cuts or like censored shit. Mm-hmm. Like he, one of the dudes gets his dick out and shit, like on the Patreon and shit. Like he's like they do. <laughs> but it's going wild. Like yeah, okay. yeah, you know, like it's yeah, like yeah, fucking yeah. uncensored shit. You know what I mean? Okay. But, so shit like that, you know, we're thinking yeah. about all these things, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So pa- we have a Patreon, it's it's very bare bones, but eventually, now that mm. we're kind of getting our groove together, we will upgrade and do all these things. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it'll be a lot of YouTube content, we're going to go out, do shit, who knows what we're going to be doing, but fun stuff, you know, so follow the YouTube. Um, what's your YouTube handle? Did, did just, you make one? Just Friendly Fire. Just friendly fire. Cap- right. Just how is it? How it is on Spotify? Capital F. Okay. Both capital Fs. No space. Friendly fire. Okay. Which I'm surprised I was able to nab that one on YouTube because, yeah, I did make my channel like fucking eight years ago now. So, so yeah, subscribe if you're not. We're gonna be doing that shit. What um, a golfing video. That's what I was thinking. That's what we came to my head. Drunk too. as fuck. Yeah, but but l- the problem is, we I need we need golf. it. We need some. We need someone who doesn't want to be in the videos as much to fucking film. We could it's going it. to be hard passing it around and shit. We could do it, but no, it'd just be annoying. We'll, yeah, like, we will get a film guy. That won't be hard. I think we can get a film guy. Mm. We'll get a film guy. Mr. Meagly. We could, yeah, <laughs> we, 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 we'll, we'll get a film guy. Don't worry. Uh, Man, it feels good to be back, bro. It feels good. It's been a minute oh, since it was just it, us two, too. It feels good to be fucking back, bro. Um, like, oh, my God. Um. Yeah, I, I, you guys are gone for six weeks. I've got a whole bunch of points that I saved up. Um, no Instagram polls or questions today. It's a mm. bit of a last-minute one because um, Joey couldn't come. Um, yeah, man, where do you want to start? What do you – what have you – you were gone for six weeks. So you got any fucking news information? What's happening, no, not man? Not really, What's man. What's wrong with you? Nothing really, bro. Just – like, yeah, the holiday was unreal. And, I like, I do really think everyone should go experience that side of the world because it's a whole different planet, bro. They, it's like a zoo. Like, we spoke about on the last episode. But coming home and just, like, getting back to work. Like, like for you motherfuckers, this is just, like, probably just, like, a, a fun thing. But to us, this is, like, semi-work. It's it this, is this, fucking this, work, man. This is our job Unpaid that we enjoy. Work. Yeah. Unpaid work, by the way. Yeah. So, and, and but don't get me wrong. I love this shit. Like, I love this shit. This I shit is so it. fun, I bro. Just talking garbage. And then we still have our loyal fan base that have just always been there, bro. So thank you, motherfuckers. Um, yeah, like we've been promising for a long time, I finally have a bit more time on my hands uh, to get these things that we've been saying we want to do fucking done, which is exciting as fuck because for once I've got the fucking time. Like, time is of... The essence. You should be scared of time, but you should also be grateful for time. We need time, man. Humans, like, well, what do you, what do you do when you're working? What can you do with yourself? You get home, you fucking jack off and watch Netflix. Like, fuck that shit, if man. If you're working, you're trapped, man. I'm sorry, but you are trapped. I worked full time for for quite a while, you know, this past year and a bit. I've been working for full time. I'm part time now, and man, even though I'm getting paid a lot less, like. Way better. At least I can have like mm. full time. I realized you get in the 
Yeah, but you get used to it, right? So full time, mm. I'm working full time, but I was just, you don't realize how grouchy and shit you become. That right? routine is, you oh. know? And now that I'm in the routine, like, so I have four days off, three days on, right? So now that I live more than I work, it is a bit harder because I have two weekends, right? I got Wednesday, Thursday off, and then I got Saturday, Sunday off, right? Mm. So then I have those two days off. Getting, doing that one day after the, you know, mm. is hard. It's tougher than it was when I was working full time because you're so used to the routine. You mm. go to sleep, get up, go to work. So what you're saying, the, the Friday so, off is So hard. now, like when I have the two days and then I've got to go back to work the next Just day, even though day. it's only one yeah. day, it's tougher than it was when I was full time. Really? Because I'm, my routine now is living more than working. So I'm, so, I'm more used to living my life mm. than I am to working. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, that's what I'm used to. But it is much better, man. If you can manage to get a part-time role, even though you can live comfortably on part-time money, you should do it. Do it man, because yeah. you cannot do anything. You will be stuck working a nine-to-five forever. I'm sorry. People save for a house, save for a mortgage, all that shit. Yeah, it, it, you can do that if that's what you want to do. But you're, that's your ceiling. You can't get mm. rich working a nine-to-five or saying off air. You, mm. It's impossible. It's, if you yeah. have dreams of being rich, you have to take a risk, man. Fortune mm. favors the brave. That's so true, that saying. For, if you listen to any video of successful people or anything, they always say the same thing. Take the risk. The, the biggest risk is not taking the risk. That's mm. the biggest risk. And it's funny too because every famous person, successful person, has the same mentality. But not just that. It's the same story. It's almost like a broken record. Every fucking famous or rich person will have that story of when they took that risk, that leap. It's big, and, and it's not. It's for a reason. It's not bullshit. They're not just making true. it up. It's true. You have to take a fucking calculated risk in your life. I mean, if you're that, if you enjoy, like, if you're comfortable, then you're comfortable. You know what I mean? But, but is it really? Do you, do you, you really you, reckon <laughs> there's people comfortable? I don't. I think no there one is. They just don't like admitting it. Yeah. No one likes going to work and swinging a hammer for fucking 40 years <laughs> between eight to 10 hours a day. No one does. See, you and like, I are lucky though, because we have always been risk takers. Like mm. I will live, I'll live in a box and be happy than mm. make money and be miserable. Mm. You know what I mean? I can't take the nine to five. I say it all the time to my family, everybody like, I cannot take the nine to five i can't do it i cannot do it and then when we started this it's like that spark you know mm. when you everyone has that reason to be on earth this is our fucking reason all right and to be honest i think the only thing holding us back really was the time we had to do it because once yeah. we get better equipment once we get like the, the, the space the and quality the, like, yeah, and the content just... that's what i reckon we got mm. personality i was thinking about this too the other day like you see those podcasts the popular podcasts and shit and they're like they're so like trashy and shit, and they like argue like they, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Logan Paul. I always see Logan Paul <laughs> and he's yeah, like they argue and like dog each other. And One shit. of them fucking like leaves halfway through oh, and shit, like uh. or like Steiny or Nelk and shit. And they're always like, it's just <laughs> shit. Like they're just dumb. These people are dumb. like you can tell they're just like I don't know, man. It's just stupid. But anyway, I know we can do it. You know, we got the mm, we got mm. the you know I'm the excited, charisma. Man. There's some exciting fucking times coming, man, and I know. Y- for our day one fans, you've probably been hearing us say this for fucking two years now. It's finally happening. It's finally All happening. Right, like, so it paid I've off. got the job. I won't go into uh, details and all the schematics of what I'm doing. I'll keep that a bit personal uh, for some, you know, just for personal reasons and stuff. But just long story short, I've got a new gig. I've basically already got one foot out of this matrix. Oh, actually, no, I've probably got like a leg. I've got a whole leg and like my knob. We're just... It's out of, of the matrix. I just, I think you're out of the matrix. Not yet, not yet. Not I, yet, I not think yet. You're, we're, 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 you're we're, just, we're you, chilling now. You got a gig doing what you want to do, and yeah. you have the time to do whatever you want. And that's 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 not the matrix to me, man. If you got the time to do whatever you mm. want and be paid for it, mm. you're out of the matrix, bro. Seriously. <laughs> like, look, it's like. like we're, we're there. We're like we're getting close. We're, we're knocking on success's door. Like, well, we've been knocking on that door for a while now. Like, we've been able to finally pry it open. We're getting a little peek on the other side, and fuck, it looks way better on that. Man, we are Woo-hoo! successful. Man, seeing the YouTube views on mm. every one of these episodes, our low episodes are still, you know, 40, 30 views on mm. a YouTube video of a podcast. Mm. That's f- in a week. That's pretty good. That's fucking good, man. And you know, and Spotify has more listens. But a lot most people listen on Spotify, mm. so it's like. The people listen on Spotify and the YouTube put together in a week, the amount of viewership we get and the amount of messages I get about this shit and the music and stuff, 
we're successful, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful. And we're finally going to put the visions together. All the things we've been saying since episode fucking one and two, if you're stuck with happening. us, we, we said to get hop They're on board happening. or get left behind. And, yeah. you know, the train's left the station now, yeah, baby. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we're go- that train's going, yeah, bro. Like, we're out, going. It's, it's on the way, bro. So like, it's fucking yeah, going to the next out. stop. So if, if you haven't jumped on board, you've already fucking missed it. The train's left. But essentially, I've got a lot more time now, like a lot more time where I can really put these ideas like these these I just said put these ideas to fruition and so if you have any suggestions for youtube videos please let us know i don't care what it is we will give it a go like we'll go wrestle llamas and shit i don't give a fuck like we will do it we're going to do fun stuff man yeah. a lot of fun stuff i want fun quirky videos that are just just fun man like we're just having fun bro like it's just i'm so fucking excited man i this, Woo! It, there's going to be some gambling. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Last, Every second dad, video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, man, we, we're fun dudes, man. And, yeah. and I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to finally put this, you know, to, to, to vision. You know what I mean? You know what's weird, too? I was thinking, it's like, me and you, obviously, we're brothers, right? But, we, like, it might, wouldn't it be funny if, like, I was like this... But you come out like completely different. Like you love the nine to five. You didn't believe you could escape it. Like you know what I mean. Or what if that was me and you're like how you are? Like it, it's, it, like it's, it's funny too. Like how did that? We both come out of the womb like full throttle. Like we're like like we'll just we're businessmen. We're successful. We've came out ready to fucking take on the world, man. And the funny thing is, we're very different. We are very different. We're different, uh, but the same. I'm sure it comes through. If you if you watch one of the episodes for the first time, you know, we don't mention it a lot, but we are fucking biological brothers. Same mum, same dad. So if you just watch one of the episodes, I'm sure we come across very different, you know, in a lot of the episodes, man. Um, you're just a lot more off the wall, man. I'm, I'm a bit more, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit more you know. Um, by the way, uh, music is on the way. He just showed me a sick thing he's working on. Mm-hmm. Uh, finally, good to see you back on the music. But I have yep. a song yep. dropping tomorrow as of recording. Mm. Um, it'll be out by the time you listen to this. Uh, yes. Danger. Oh. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. you can stream that now. Um, I'm also working on an EP. Holloway just sent me. Me and Holloway are doing an EP. He's doing all the beats just to produce that. Mm. EP. So he no, sent me a bunch of beats, mm. um, and he just sent me, I think, the finished thing of all the beats. So I'm going to start working on okay. that too. How is all Holloway? Is he? Is he's he still, good, man. Still he, making music and shit. Did, yeah, he, did, he, didn't he, he move? Just, he, he moved. He's living with um. He's living with our other mate up the like down the coast area, like which mate? Pretty far away. Piers. They so, live together. Yeah. Oh for, shit. For now, but Brad just wanted to get out of the Sydney. He just yeah. hated the vibes here. Shit, it's way better down there. Yeah. You're yeah. like an hour and a half down the coast. Okay. Um. But yeah, so for now he's just working on beats and stuff. I don't think he's got his recording equipment set up and shit. But mm-hmm. he's, yeah, he's still pumping out the beats, man. He, he's yeah, he's still dedicated, and he's sitting on a lot of stuff. He just sits on shit. So, mm. so yeah, new music, man. Go stream Danger. Um, let me know what you think. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot more music coming. My new song with DZ. I'll try to get that out once I get his vocals. I should be able to pump it out that same day or the day after. So I'll try have that released for within. Oh, wait, it's almost the end of, oh no, August. No, actually, probably like the first of, what's after August? September. First of September. <laughs> That'll be my goal. So, yeah. Um, I had a thought on the way here. Right, you ever, when I was younger, not so much anymore lately, but I used to always have these like dreams or something and I'd wake up like scared that I have homework and shit to do, but i I'm out of school. <laughs> I've been out of school for ages. You ever think it like you got assignments? Like it hasn't happened in a while, mm. to be fair. But I used to have these things where I'd wake up or something. And I'd be like, "Fuck," you know, like I got assignments I got to do, mm. or like I haven't. I get a feeling that I haven't worked on any assignments for ages, and that like mm. I've been missing school or something. <laughs> it's weird. I, 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 I feel hell? like I've heard this that's, before. That's Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. But I've, you never. That's never happened to you. No, nah. you never really went to school. Anyway, I didn't even go to school, man. I don't know, it's a weird, I just, I don't know why I thought of that on the way here. And another thing I thought of, right, mm. this fucking tripped me out, like yesterday I found out about this, right? So Fruit Loops, the cereal Fruit Loops, mm. right? So Fruit Loops is spelled F-R-O-O-T Loops, and the O's are stylized as Fruit Loops, right? Now, back in the day, I used to say, that's how it was spelled. I remember it being like that since I was a kid forever. And I used to say, this is how it's spelled. And the Mandela effect was 
No, it's not. It's fruit. It's always been fruit spelt normally in loops, right? Mm. But I found out yesterday or the day before that now it's fruit with double O again. It's changed back to how I originally thought. And this is the most fuck Mandela effect because I know for a fact I used to say it was fruit with double O and people would correct me and I saw in the box and everything it was fruit spelt normally and I'd be like, oh, fuck, that's weird. But now I found out like fucking two days ago it is fruit with double O. But that's fuck because I know hmm. I know it was fruit spelt normally. I know because I had accepted that fact that I was wrong. And I remember hmm. seeing the box. We had a fucking box in the top shelf of the pantry not long ago, a couple of weeks ago. It was fruit spelt fucking normally. And now apparently it's fruit with double O again. Double O, so that's like frot loops. No, fruit. It's fruit, double O, but it's just like, you know, to stylize. Mm. But bro, it used to just be fruit spilled mm. normally and then just the loops had the stylized. Yeah, ring. wow. This is fucked, man. This fucked with me. I was freaking out. I'm like, bro. <laughs> because normally a Mandela effect is just the one thing. Yeah. But I know for a fact I used to always say that. And people go, no, it's always been fruit, normally fruit. And now it's fucking double O again. So, so this blew my mind. Running around the house fucking screaming and shit. I think I'm the main character. I must be the main character on earth because how come I'm the only one <laughs> that can fucking live through these Mandela effects? Even Rose, I said this to Rose and she's kind of like half... You know, like, oh, yeah, I do kind of remember. I'm like, what do you mean you kind of remember what I'm talking about? Like, bro, I would fucking like... It's frot loops, man, frot loops. So everyone else is... I'm the only one that survived every dimension. Everyone else, you're all fucking new incarnates of this fucking realm. Maybe you're like the, yeah, one and only being on Earth and we're just like your little underlings is trying to fuck with you now. That, that fucks me too. You ever have that thought where like, what if I am the only person... On Earth and all this Everyone, is just the, <laughs> like my I'm I'm alone here. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> it's like my it, you know. Can you imagine that we finally make a fuck ton of money and then as I go to give it to you, you just like whoosh, <laughs> just buy yourself in a dark room like yeah. no. Every, like, everything like pixelizes, yeah. all goes white. Like, no, 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 no! Please, please, like fuck that. Oh, that is scary to think about. Have you seen the new game, Baldur's Gate? I've heard uh, right. It's like Dungeons and Dragons. Like you take turn. It's like turn based. And oh, shit. is it? That's yeah. fucking cool. I want to buy it. It looks fucking sick. Yeah, no, you're uh, always looking for games to play. You should um, what's the streaming? What's what's going on with the stream? Ah, uh, it's. I was actually fuck. I'm glad you brought that up because I was actually um, had a little sticky beak through Twitch today. That's ah, not looking good, man. <laughs> no, seriously. Why? It's not looking good. Okay. So, hot, big big time streamers that used to peak, you know, like 25, 30k. They're all leaving viewers. Twitch. No, no, no. They're not leaving. They're still there, but they're only getting like 9,000 viewers and shit, which is still a lot. But compared to their peaks, and they're playing the same fucking game. Apex, Call of Duty. Call of Duty is absolutely, it's it's unplayable now. Apex you can get away with. A few streamers are playing Baldur's Gate. But again, the problem with these games is that they come out and they're just so, they're just like you have fun for like a couple days on it and then you just don't go back to it. So I don't know, like, because I want to, I've got time now to do a stream schedule, but I just don't know what to stream. And the issue is like I could do, say, example, music and trading. But trading is so, especially during Asia session, it's so boring and there's no volume and nothing happens, right, to start with. And then music, I could probably do like a day or two a week before I don't want to stream that again because I'm bored shitless. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like I don't, there's literally nothing to stream anymore. It's just kind of, it's really, really died off. Like, you know what your problem is? I know your problem streaming. Mm. You don't have friends. You don't have friends. The best streams are the people playing games together or they have a group of mates on the yeah. call. That's True. what you need to do, bro. That's where you get fun. And then we can fucking go on arc and fuck around. We play four guys and fuck around. You know mm. what I mean? We do f- just stupid mm. shit, but the camaraderie and shit, you know, is, yeah, that is true. You need friends, man, to to stream that type That's of the shit. Problem though, when I'm like, you've only got two days off, you didn't even have a fucking computer. <laughs> well, yeah, I got, <laughs> I'm, I'm not playing. Like, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, like when you were playing with your mates, you're playing New World and shit. Like that shit was cool, man. Even when you were doing mm. Ark, you started that little Ark mm. series. That was fun, bro. You know, that shit. Yeah, that was, was fun. funny. That was fucking funny. You know, but, um, but yeah, yeah, you need friends. Some of little sticky beak yeah, it's not looking good, man. A lot of people going to a kick and shit, kick and even streaming on YouTube now is picking up a little bit. I've seen. Yeah, so. yeah, most all traders are on YouTube. Those motherfuckers don't even know what Twitch is. Mm. But yeah, Kick's the one that you get paid, what, like 16 bucks an hour or something? Yeah, I suppose at least. You'd have to look so into it. So they say, yeah. You'd have to look into it. Oh, well. But, um, 
So yeah, man, the streaming I'm guessing will come back, but you just I mean, it will it it when I yeah. figure out what to play, man. Like I don't want to start a whole schedule, start playing Baldur's Gate, and then next week I'm like, this game sucks. <laughs> like you know what I mean? So I kind of want we need something fresh, like something fun, like like bro, I haven't had the last time I had fun playing a game was when New World come out. That shit, bro, was. I'll never forget this. That, I, that was the only moment in my life gaming as an adult where I felt like I was a kid again. That game come out and I'll never forget it. That, so we, were, I was doing my asphalt job for my, one of my, my first company. I'll never forget it. We got told that we were going to be closed for two weeks because of COVID. We ended up being closed, I think, a little bit longer. That week, New World come out. During COVID. So all the boys were home, like eight, nine of us are on this fucking game and we were going ape shit, bro. Like we made that server the most toxic fucking server. <laughs> Everyone hated Brad. Everyone hated him because he was abusing people and shit. So we were going around like literally fighting people in this server and shit. Like um, Viking released his album at the time. So we were like streaming to his music and shit, fighting cunts in the, like in the fight. It was so good, man. Good times, but see, you had your mates, man, and mm. that's that's you know, you had our friends in a new game. You gotta, what you should, you gotta, you gotta play shit games, man. I think you should just experiment and play like go on play Steam, random, play shit. the dog like, shit, bro. Yeah. Like, uh, the dude, I really watch. Uh, one of the few dudes I watch all the time is um, Moist Critical. You ever watch? You ever mm. watch Critical? No, nah. he's a funny cunt, bro. But like, that's what he does. He goes on stream and. Like the viewers will tell him a story or some shit. He'll look it up, and then he also just play shit game. Like he loves playing shit games or doing speed runs of shit games and shit. Yeah, like okay. he's a funny bastard, man. But like he just that's what he does. He's huge. He's massive. Moist <laughs> critical. <laughs> Moist critical. He does. He's got his own esports team and everything. He's crazy. Like he does right. so much. He's got a comic book as well. They do everything. Gambling would be fun. <laughs> the I'd slots, love to get slots right. on stream. I mean, you should do like, that. The video the online you, casino. Yeah, yeah you right, come yeah, over yeah. and we'll just fucking blow money, bro. Yeah, we'll. we'll there's going to be gambling, all right? I'm sorry. Oh. If you're not a fan of gambling, we're going to do a little bit of gambling <laughs> when we got the money, man. Fuck it, oh. It's so fun, bro. Fuck it, oh. Roulette, well, it will be so fun. Um, see what? Do I have any? Did you? Game? There's been a lot of things that happened in the six weeks you were gone. Did you hear about the fucking, the Chinese zoo? They thought the bear was a dude in a costume. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw I saw a TikTok <laughs> of that in Greece or something. Was that what? No, was, in, was it actually a dude in a costume? No. It was a bear. No, right, yeah. But people are stupid. It's a sun bear. They're a bit of a weird bear. They yeah. stand on two legs a lot. So yeah, like yeah. the smallest bear. And when it was standing up in the zoo, it had like back folds and the folds look kind of weird. <laughs> people were like, this is a costume. And the Chinese zoo is like, it's not a guy in a costume. He wouldn't survive the heat <laughs> in the summer. And it was a dude in a costume. And... <laughs> Why would they do that anyway? Like, you could just get a real bear. <laughs> Why would you need a guy in a costume? Oh, speaking of bears, have you heard about that shit? So sad. The bear bile farms. No, Bruh. I discovered this when I was in Europe. Yeah, actually made me sad. I can't believe this is a thing. Wow. So, bear bile is um, what they do. Like, of course, it's the Asian countries like Vietnam and China and shit. Right. Um, they get like the sun bears and moon bears put them in little cages like in a warehouse so like how they keep chickens but it's a fucking like 40 pound bear in this little tiny cage the poor thing and then they drill a hole in the stomach and then every couple of months they stick a tube in its stomach and withdraw the acid the fuck the bile from its stomach because the Asians use that acid in their medicines and shit so only like I think maybe in 2015 or something Vietnam or one of the countries, can't remember, was the first country to actually make bear farming illegal. So now there's this team of people who are going all through Vietnam, like shutting down these factories and shit and rescuing these bears. Holy shit. It's so sad. And these bears are fucking ginormous and shit. And you, like you see the video, you can look it up on YouTube, there's videos and these bears just look fucking miserable, bro. Like they're just defeated. Like they're just laying there, hole in the stomach and shit. They come and get rescued. They're giving them like peanut butter and shit. Fuck like, yeah, no, I've it's, never heard of that. It's very fucking sad. Apparently, of course, it's still massive in China. So oh, th this no. little team is going just country to country. They're doing Vietnam first, and then they're going to move on to each each. Holy country. shit, dude! I'd never heard of that. Neither did I until I, I was like, wow, that's fucked up, man. It's very fucking sad. It's so like there's this video of one of the bears that gets rescued, 
and they take it to like one of the bear sanctuaries in Vietnam because obviously you can't release these things back into the wild because they wouldn't survive. So they got these bear sanctuaries, right? Like pool, massive open area for them. And this bear is so happy. It's the first time it's seen like a pool of water. It's in the water just jumping up and down, like splashing oh, and shit. It's fucking crazy, that's bro. That's fucked, man. Yeah. Of well, course, all the fucking Asians are doing No, this. man. There's <laughs> a lot of fucked up things in the world, bro. It's, it's just fucked. Um, yeah, wow. That, that That's that's made me upset. That's what I remember off the top of my head anyway. So go some of your points. I'll see if I've well, got Well, I've got quite a lot of points on the zoos, man. <laughs> just a few things about zoos in here. So, zoos around the world asking people to stop showing gorillas videos on their phone <laughs> as the gorillas are getting obsessed... And they're scared of behavioural changes. So in the Toronto Zoo, there's a bear called Nassar. He's a teenage bear. Yeah. And he's got so fond of watching the videos on the phone. Like that's – if he was – the zoo has said if he had the choice to just sit, like either be a bear or just sit there watching videos on the phone, he would rather watch videos on the phone, <laughs> like a teenager. So they're asking – Oh, God. And this is happening all around the world too. Really? Yeah, but this Toronto Zoo is the first one to really like kind of like – Wow. Stop showing – Why bears though? They're just oh. really invested in iPad no, videos. No, it's the gorillas. Shit. Did oh, I say sorry. Bears? Yeah, you gorilla. said bear. Sorry, gorilla. Did I said bear. Gorilla. Yeah, sorry. So the monkeys, gorillas. Yeah. Gorillas, okay. just like us. Right? Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, apparently they love watching videos. And the, the zoo said they do show them videos every now and then. They show them nature documentaries and shit, and they love it. The gorillas fucking love it. They sit there. But it's like they're actually worried about what content people are showing them. So it's like a child that- They're you know, showing it like fucking <laughs> yeah, like violent, fucked up, violent like, like a, videos and shit. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Bro. Also, at another zoo, it uh, can't remember where which zoo it was. You you'd you'd like this, right? Mm. Um, in the Malaysia Zoo, in the Malaysian Zoo, there's an orange cat named Oyen that oh, it lives with the with fucking the capybara. Ca- yeah, and they gave it a sign, and it's actually part <laughs> Oyen, of the enclosure. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. <laughs> I, showed, I showed that to my missus because her last name is Oyen. Mm. That, that bro, I seen that. That's mm. fucking awesome. I want to go to the zoo in. Here in Blacktown, they got capybara. Apparently, you can pet them and shit. I want to ask on how its life has been. I've like, been to the Blacktown Zoo. They got capybaras there. No, it's they only. It wasn't there from open. So it's a so, new thing. Yes, but I've been there kind of recent. And there wasn't any capybaras, or is it Taronga Zoo? I man? don't remember. I swear, someone told me Blacktown Zoo has fucking capybaras, bro. Maybe I don't. I want to talk to one, man. They're just fucking giant guinea pigs, you know. <laughs> they're like Spanish rats, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're from no, South Spanish, America, Spanish right? wombats. They're f- they're, yeah, no, that's a good idea. Yeah, like, I saw a video. They like wombats. Yeah. Did I send you the video of the golden wombat? Yeah, <laughs> the I golden saw that. hairy yeah, wombat. Bro, I that's saw, fuck, I seen, they yeah. hairy as fuck, gold as shit. It was like it was like a golden wombat, bro. Oh uh, yeah, uh, pretty cool. Uh, that makes me think: how many other creatures are out there that we haven't seen? Because they found that golden wombat, and they're like a very rare golden wombat. How many other very rare things are there that we just haven't well, fucking seen or discovered? There's also what? apparently someone, I saw a post before I went to Europe. Someone had picked up a fucking albino echidna. Again, very rare. It was all white. It looked awesome. Holy shit. An all white echidna. Like, see, we, what what else is out there? What else is out there that we just haven't seen? Things that live deep in the fucking, you know, deep in the wilderness and shit. Sasquatches. Could be. Skinwalkers. Wendigos. Did you watch the Matildas game? Yes, I did, bro. They're fucking pretty solid, man. Yeah, they look the, the, we- the defenders were fucking up a little bit. Yeah. There was I a, noticed that. Under pressure. But uh, what, what was weird for me, as I was saying this last night, is I don't ever recall seeing the women's soccer play so good. It's like just this year out of nowhere, they're, play- they're scoring goals from like outside the box and shit. That's what I said. I'm like, is like this they, the first time it, they had a Women's World Cup or what? Because no, no, no. it's the only time everyone's cared. Right. The, I know. The, it started in China, the, 99. Yeah, the USA were like, they've been the number one team. Mm, they've, they've won, won like, four. Like, yeah. And Spain, oh. Spain or mm. England haven't won. You know, the usual teams that you win in the men's, they haven't mm. won. Again, so. they, they don't go. But again, uh, John Aloisi, after the game, had a good point. He was saying that now they've put it on. The, like, it was, a, it was a refreshing moment to see Australians for once coming together. Instead of arguing over the Penrith Panthers versus the fucking Bulldogs, mm-hmm. like who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? But everyone come together to try to support these bitches. <laughs> well, not these bitches, <laughs> but support the, the Matildas, right? And fucking John Aloisi was saying, like, the government now should really put more funding into the sport to, yeah, because we can, tr- we can, we have the potential to one day win one, which would be insane. 
but we don't have fields, we don't have stadiums, we don't have um, our junior system, we don't have schools, we don't have any of that because everyone wants to fucking play rugby league or AFL. So put money into the sport and like- You might win one. Like yeah. the women got closer than the fucking men's have ever gotten mm. in their lives. That's why England won. That's what he was saying. England are just a better team because yeah. football is a sport over there. They yeah. have the yeah. fields. They have the you know the resources to. Everyone wants to play soccer over there, so yeah. they get the best of the best women in the country that want to play for the national team. Mm. Whereas over here, See, it's like whereas here it was basically who could fill the team, the Matildas. So- soccer team. Like- is. The most popular sport in the world, man. I don't know Except why we're here, push it. <laughs> and we're similar to the UK. So it's strange that, like, you know, it's such a like it's all about rugby here. Which, I mean, it's a shame, man. I, watching that game made me want to like. I miss playing soccer, man. I always yeah, how get good that. was it? Yeah, hey, like that. seeing how big that field is. Mm. And then I remember that I'm almost thirty, and I'll fucking yeah. pop out. <laughs> oh, the bro, fucking- I'm so unfit, man. But soccer is such a fun, beautiful sport, man. It's an awesome sport. Mm. It's the best sport by far. It's so mm. tactile and, and, you know, it's just, it's awesome. It's fucking mad. And then you see that goal that um Kerr scored was fucking Oh, unreal. Incredible. Bro, that was a full, that like a, a romper of yeah, a fucking goal. Yeah, that was goal. a fucking sick goal, man. And the, the one that England girl scored too was fucking a solid goal too. Yeah, that Lauren Hemp, she was causing a, every time she touched the ball, bro, I was like, fuck. She was this quicker, better on, on her feet. Better ball control. She was just, she was literally better than all three of our defenders. And every time she got the ball, it was like, oh fuck. But you know what I noticed too is the touches are incredible, man. That these girls like they when they do the lob the ball yeah. up the field, they, they touch first the ball control and just the first touch is was so good, man. From the Aussie, from everyone, man. They're, they're very talented. And you know, I saw something too that reminded me. Rashes was doing right. I saw promotion. Rashes was doing mm. that. Every woman got a free meal f- to cel- support the Matildas, right? So if you're a woman, you got a free meal at Rashes. But oh, yeah. imagine if they did, a man gets a free meal <laughs> for something. If you're a man, you get a free meal. It'd be cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. A bit strange, isn't it? But yes, I know. I know. That's just uh, how it is, I guess. I want a fucking free meal. I mean, uh, to be fair, whether we like it or not, we are, men have been, you know, we are, there is a privilege, you mm. know, there's a male privilege. So, you know, that's I said that to my missus and she had a point. She's like, yeah, but men have always been like, well, who cares? Like women, yeah, women are, it's just, it's just, that's just the way it is. It is different. So, you mm. know, it is okay if they say women can get a free meal, but it's, it would no, be different. Reckon, it's just the way it is, man. I reckon good on them. It's just good the way them. it is. Like, I don't care. Them. But they should give women a free meal once a month, bro. Fuck. I don't, I don't like, care. <laughs> I don't care personally, but I just saw it as an interesting point that people always bring that up. It's like you can't have equality. Like equal – equality is not being equal. It's just not going to work, man. Oh, did you fucking um, see what the fuck, bro? I saw this when I was in Europe. The Alabat, like the Montgomery brawl they had in America. So apparently it was like the blacks versus whites. It was like a full old school black dudes versus white Wait, dudes. What? You didn't see that all over TikTok? No. It blew all over like it blew up all over my TikTok. So I don't know the full story, but apparently what I caught wind of was there was like a dock, right? And there was this boat trying to park. But I think a bunch of white dudes had their boat there and it was a black <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it, it was a black captain. So he was trying to ask them to move their boat because they had to come dock which it was like a cruise boat, whatever. And apparently like, they ended up getting into an argument and the white guys were just, like calling them the N-word and shit. So this boat captain starts fighting them and it's like a 1v7 or some shit. This black guy from the boat that's not Doc sees another black guy getting bashed. So he jumps in the water and like Michael Phelps it across the water. Full, yeah, yeah, full butterfly breaststroke and they all start punching on and then they all fight and then more black people come and shit. Wait, where was this? Yeah, in America, in Montgomery and then all the cops come and they're arresting and shit. And the funny thing is that <laughs> what the fuck? everyone in the comments and shit was saying, they're like, I actually think for the first time ever, this wasn't a racial thing. I just think it was just by coincidence. It was a black guy and a group of white dudes just arguing over a parking spot. And then everyone else watching has seen it as a race war and started jumping in for each other and shit. Fuck yeah. yeah. And then it's funny because then there's heaps of other TikToks where 
after the fight's over or some shit, maybe. I don't know if this is bef- I don't know if this is before the fight or after the fight. You just see the white dudes on their little boat, and then the camera turns and there's like five black dudes all with their shirts off, like <laughs> come in to fight these guys, and then the video just ends. You never see Fuck the it, no. you never see the final result, but yeah. And I was cracking up because the comments. Well, like, I actually think it wasn't a race war. It was just coincidence that one team's black and one team's <laughs> white. They were actually just fighting over a parking spot. Fucking hell. You didn't see that? T- no, any of this? I oh, bro. I'm going to look it up, though. But that shit was a good laugh, bro. I was in bed just, like, chuckling. I was like, <laughs> Earth, <laughs> like uh, Earth, America especially is a strange fucking place, bro. Did you see that house blow up in Philadelphia? Yeah. They're crazy. What mm. the fuck, bro? Mm. Killed four people. Mm. Five that, or six, I think, now. Imagine we're potting and... Make for good content though, but that'd be that's nuts. so scary, man. How like, does that happen though? Gas leak or something like? Uh, I hope not. I hope because that makes it even scarier. I hope it was like they were cooking meth or something in there, and then, like it went wrong. Just a random tank of gas underneath the fucking ground just blows yeah, up. He's fucked, man. Kills everyone. Shit can happen. Gas leak. That's why. That's something you would have never thought of before. But see, you never know. But usually, never with the gas know. leaks, you smell them before, and then you kind of evacuate. Well, so they, this must have just maybe they did or like combusted. We don't know. Yeah. What happened fucking I can happened. smell gas. What are we watching? <laughs> you just keep keep going about your day like nothing. That's like a, that that's shit, man. Scary man. That's fucked up. Have you been seeing what's happening in uh, Africa? Africano? What all the countries are siding with Russia? Yeah. No, no, not just oh. no. That they they're going. So there's, there's a country called Niger. Mm. Spelt N I G E R, yeah. so uh, I'm yeah. gonna say Niger. It, Niger. Yeah, it, is, it is Niger, yeah, that's how you say it. <laughs> or Niger, yeah. So there's a, a country in Niger, apparently, they're like doing some, like, one of their like fucking political dudes is like taking up arms against like some other country, and he's saying, Oh, Africa wants to take back out like our rightful place on the United Nations as one of the top countries and shit and like a whole bunch of other little countries around the siding with them and shit and then there's another African country trying to stop them and they're like full like gearing up for war but it's like against who? They're just like gearing up and there's like TikToks of them you see them all with their gear on they've all got their masks I'm, and I'm shit. I'm pretty sure it's like a government insurgency but the America yeah. America and France want to have they want to jump keep in. the government. It reminds me a lot of something that happened in... Um, 1945, um, you might have heard about it. World War Two, same shit, same shit. We could be on the brink of of shit popping off. Yeah, but they've been um, saying that for the past all this yeah, year. Yeah, but this like, it, nothing the, the is Africa going thing, to happen. Yeah, they're not gonna do shit. These Africans. No, but, but it's it's because, and I also saw. Did you see the video of they're doing like a conference thing, and it's Putin there. And all the African countries' leaders are walking up, shaking his hand, and they're all siding. And Russia has Russia, Russia has um, has waived like billions of dollars of debt from a lot of the African countries, so they don't owe the debt anymore. He just wiped mm. it. They don't owe debt. He's also given them free grain and stuff for mm. like a certain amount of time, free import, yeah. export. A lot of shit, man. Africa is, is a very... Africa's a hot spot. I hear Akon say this a lot, and it's true. Africa has so much potential, and the Chinese know this, and the Chinese have been investing in Africa slowly for the longest mm. time, and Africa is a, a powerful continent, man. And well, it's they, can, a, they can be. But that's what I'm saying, but they need oh, the investment, and yeah. that's what China has been taking advantage of, and it seems like Africa is really, especially with all this stuff happening, it could be mm. on the move to get very developed. I Pretty hope quick. so, man. It's it's fucking sad. Like Africa, Africa, they're the they're like the first people. Mm. Africans were the first fucking people on the earth, weren't they? It is strange because like, it's. How they, that's why I think they all get angry in that. And you see all these TikToks where they're talking, like because that got one of the I don't know if it's the president or whoever the one who's leading the charge in Niger. That's what he said. He said he goes, how 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 has life turned out that Africa's on the bottom where we are the we're the beginning of most things and we're now the poorest country in the world he goes how does that happen and that's that one of their not their like i don't know if it's their main focus of for their agenda but that's what he's saying which is kind of makes sense to me it's like yeah like we were all africa at one point where we were just one ginormous thing and then we split into different fucking things like this is what what i was trying to say before this is what gaddafi gaddafi 
This is what Gaddafi was, yeah, Gaddafi was Libya, right? This is what he was trying to do, unite Africa. A united Africa is a fucking force to be reckoned with. Oh, fuck yeah. So that's what's kind of happening now. They're trying to unite the countries in Africa. It's a continent, very rich continent, full of resources, full How of- How many countries are in Africa? Shitload. 40, 50? Fuck. So if they come together, there'd be a lot of those motherfuckers. 30, 40, more than South America. They all have like seven kids each and shit. (laughs) But, (laughs) but, um, yeah, it's Africa, it could be change in Africa coming, whether it's, you know, in the form of World War or something, who knows. But uh, America is always on the wrong side, it seems like. It seems like America's, America's collapsing, by the way. If you're American, uh, sorry to tell you no, things are changing. You you, are fucked. Um, But you should have voted for Trump. Bro, Sorry, you did you see? Vote over Trump. I was gonna say that. Did you see the Trump speech? Fuck, that hit me in the field, bro. I literally commented. I was like, I hope for your guys' sake this cunt wins. Which which one was it? So the he, speech, the right? speech one man. of his recent speeches where he was saying, um, oh, bro, fuck, it's it's said so well, bro. Where is he saying they won't they um they won't let me win. control you because I no they won't they won't control me because I won't let them control you. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen bro, that. I was like, bro, this guy is literally. Like, he can't be a plant. Like, he's literally a good fucking guy. He's got to be, I'd bro. like to believe, but you like, never know. He's got never to know. be. Maybe like, the shit he says, bro, it's like he's really, like, hinting at the suppression from the uppers. Mm. He's literally giving these little subtle hints, bro, and the America, they're just too, they're just, they're just too dumb to realise. Like, hey, get my face to out the door. Like... They don't give a fuck about nothing, these idiots. And this guy's telling them to their fucking face the shit that's happening mm. and the issues going on. Weird, man. You're watching the news too much, man. Americans, the news is the worst thing to happen on planet Earth, I'll tell you. Um, I've got a question for you. How much space... So, you know, you know the asteroid belt. Mm. Right? How far apart do you think each of the asteroid belts each asteroid and asteroid belt. Or each asteroid in that belt. Fuck. Like probably hundreds of miles or something. When you see the asteroid belt, right? You, it looks like it's a, like... Every, yeah. Everyone yeah. thinks it's all close together. And you see in Star Wars and the movies yeah. and shit, they're all close together dodging them. The, each asteroid in the asteroid belt is a distance that is 32 times the width of the Earth apart. Holy fuck. So they're fucking... It's, that's how big space is, man. And people can't wrap their head around that. And I thought that because... I saw as well recently that I think you did speak about this, but so there was an asteroid that missed Earth and they didn't detect it till a day later. And the reason they didn't detect it till a day later is because it was coming from the sun. And when it's coming from the oh, sun, so it was blinding it. us. Yeah, okay. But they literally didn't know it was an asteroid that just missed <laughs> Earth. Yeah, it almost killed us. They in couldn't see it. Yeah, in 2012. No, it was recent. Oh, recent. Oh, I thought you meant the one I said that 2012. But, okay. but that's why that probably might have been the same mm. thing that happened. Imagine that after all this time, the sun moves a little bit as a ginormous black rock coming towards us. Like, fuck! Like, <laughs> but that just goes to show any second we could just see... Gone. You know? Gone. Bro. The dinosaur. Have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3? No. Have you seen any of those movies? No, I've seen the Bro, first one. Please watch them. I've seen the first one. Please. That movie was fucking unreal, man. So you haven't seen it, so we won't talk about it, but unreal. Well, talk about it. No, no. you got to watch it. It's just too good to... Do. Like, bro, that, that third movie... I was almost tearing up every 10 minutes. It, it was it was a mixture of sad, sad tears and happy tears. It was insane, bro. Beautiful movie. We'll talk about it hopefully when this guy watches it. I'm pretty sure Joey K has seen um, it. It's on Disney Plus, so I'll watch it soon. Um, maybe tonight. Watch him, watch him, um, watch him. Speaking of space, um, NASA has put four participants in a simulated Mars habitat for 378 days. I'll be staying in there. They've already started. What? On Mars? In a Mars simulated habitat. So they're oh, practicing. Practicing. But too. they're going to live like. For a year nice in this little pod or something. 378 days. It's not a little. It's like a little proper, like how we look on Mars. They got the little Mars, Martian habitats and shit. And they're they gonna set be doing, up like little houses and shit. Yeah, they're going to be doing simulator space <sighs> walks, trying to grow food and shit. And, you know. How boring. Well, they want to do it. And. Um, Fuck that. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> going to be interesting seeing all this Mars shit because we are going very soon, man. Again, is it true? I saw apparently a video where, I don't know, I don't know if it was NASA, they sent their first customers for this little space tool thing that they do. And in the video, you see them where they, they you see them lose gravity and they're all floating up and shit and they're all giving well, like a thumbs up. A few places have done that. I don't know if NASA has done. I don't know if it was done. NASA, but there's a, it, it, that's yeah. it looked like an airplane. 
There's about only six oh, of them. An airplane. That's they're, um, they're sitting in the fucking seas, and then they just start going up and shit. Like that's Richard Branson's one, Virgin, the airplane, fuck. the one that looks like an airplane. And Jeff Bezos did one too, which was more like a pod. And they did it as well. He did it first. What the fuck? It's happening. And they safely come back to Earth. It's happening, and people think the Earth is flat. You can see for yourself very soon that it is not fucking flat. <laughs> okay. Fuck that. Would you do that? Fucking oath, I'd do that. If like, the, so if you had the money, you'd buy a ticket to go like see. It's like four hundred thousand a ticket, but yeah, fucking oath, I'd love to do that, man. That's I'd I want to go. Space, I'd be bro. too scared, bro. He's so sick. One little thing goes wrong up there, bro. You're like gone. Yeah, but the fact that they're sending civilians up there is a pretty good indicator something's not really going to go wrong because I don't know, man. Because they're only going on the edge of space, right? They only have no gravity for about five minutes, seven minutes, or something like that. And you know, these are. Amazon and fucking Virgin, right? If they send civilians up there and kill these civilians, that isn't going to tank their fucking businesses and their brand and their name for a while, at least. So, you know, they must be pretty confident in the... I don't know, man. I'll, 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 and, probably, uh, I'll probably stay out of that one. And you, you know what? I've had this thought for a long time, right? There's. Do you ever feel like there's more people on Earth than they tell us? Yeah. Fuck okay. yeah. How many, right, how many fucking bus drivers do you know? How many fucking bus drivers do you know? How many postmen do you know, right? Mm-hmm. But there's a bus driver every fucking second that goes everywhere every single fucking day. Mm. How many garbage men do you know? Have you met a garbage man? Has anyone met a fucking garbage man? They say there's 25 million people in Australia. Bullshit. Bullshit there's 25 fucking million people in Australia because how's there enough people to do all these jobs, man? How is there enough... Fucking people. I've never met a fucking garbage man. I've never met a postman. I've never met a fucking... These people that do all these fucking weird jobs. I've never met anyone for the fucking council who cuts the grass. You seen those fucking cunts that go out and cutting the grass and the... I actually know a dude. <laughs> yeah. I actually know well, a dude. Well, I haven't met one, all right? Chopped his finger off in a mowing accident. Mm. Well, my point still remains. How many, how many chefs do you know? Right, there's a chef. I met a chef. There's like five chefs, right? In every minimum five chefs at every restaurant, every cafe, mm. every single business in Australia. There's a fucking chef who works there every single day, making your fucking eggs Benedict and shit the same every day. How? How is this fucking twenty five million people? Do you know how many fucking coffee clubs and shit there are in Australia? And there's a fucking chef, at least five chefs, mm. for every single one. Bullshit. I don't believe that there's 8 billion people on Earth. There must be more. There must be more. 8 billion, that's fucking... And then you know what else they say? You know these statistics where they say fucking like every seven seconds a person goes missing. Every fucking... How's that true? How can ever a person go missing every seven seconds? That's impossible. There's a person missing Mm. forever because every seven seconds eventually you're going to get to fucking 25 million or you're going to get to a fucking billion. There's only 8 billion people on Earth. And they say like every fucking three mm. seconds a child is born and yeah, someone dies yeah, and shit. That. What the fuck, man? I don't get it. Maybe these numbers are just too big and I can't <laughs> they're, they're wrap too, my head around. They're too big to comprehend, yeah. This doesn't make sense, though. Seven sec- How the fuck do they know that, first of all, every seven seconds a person goes missing? I'm about to go missing. Send. Bullshit. Disappear. <laughs> I don't know, man. These, these- That's why I don't believe anything I fucking read or see or do. It's all cap, man. Wouldn't it be that? Wouldn't it get to a point where there's too many people on Earth? We start we're too heavy for the Earth, and we just start sinking. That, that possibly? may be one of the dumbest things you have ever said. What do you mean? If we're too heavy, how the fuck can we get too heavy for the Earth, man? There's no gravity in space. The Earth is floating in nothing. What's it, yeah. What's gonna fucking? If I had a ball that's floating and I put a bunch of people on it, eventually it's gonna start fucking falling. Don't you think? No. No, man. No fucking way. So we can't get too heavy for That's the That's the earth. dumbest thing ever. No, man. Oh, okay. We well can't then. get too... First of all, right, you're, from your... <laughs> what the what fuck? You're saying, if we're too heavy <laughs> for the earth, right? Yeah. yeah. You're saying... You're, you're the earth is going to move a we're little gonna bit. We're going to go down, right? Yeah. You're, we're going to go down, right? Yes. Where's down in space? First of all, we're, down we're, we're, we're in Australia, right? The US is on the opposite side of the globe. Mm. So who's going to be weighing it down? You're saying there's going to be too many Americans at top that it's going to push the earth yes, down? Yes, because they're all fat as shit. That's dumb, man. That no. doesn't make any fucking sense So as a, as a whole, in general, we just pop out one, two kid and we just go like... There's no, there's, like we just move like a centimeter. There's no up or down in space. Down is up and left is right in space. Everywhere, That's what I'm saying. There is no direction. 
we we orbit the sun. The sun has massive gravity. It's all on mass, right? So the sun is what's pulling us. We only pull towards mm. the sun. So I guess in so a we're sense, burning. Orbit is like a constant state of falling. So when we're orbiting, we're constantly falling around the sun, basically. But in a circle. Yeah. yeah in an orbit. Well, in that case, he's com- everyone pop out as many kids as he's fucking want then. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> as long as we don't get too heavy and we... Uh, but a lot, that's the thing. A lot of people argue we are underpopulated, not overpopulated. Well, that's what Elon Musk was saying, yeah. that the whole overpopulation thing's a government ploy. It like, it's, like it's it. not... Like Elon mm. Musk reckons that we don't have enough people to sustain the earth. He reckons that. But that's the direction we're going. Well, in Japan, it's a serious issue. The pub- because they're not having kids, it's declining. Their population is declining badly. Really? It's going to have massive consequences. And you wow. just reminded me that. <sighs> Fuck, I forgot what I was going to oh, say. It was no. a good fucking point. Man. No. What did you say? Population. Elon Too Musk, heavy for the earth, Elon Musk. No, no, no. <laughs> Elon, overpopulation. Fuck, man. Overpopulation in Japan. Uh, very bad. No, I, I said, I'm like, I'm not going to forget this. I'll say the Japan thing quickly and then I'll go back to it. <laughs> oh, man. No. It's fueling. It's gone. It's gone, it's boys. It's a point I thought about before, too. I, I don't think I've, I've, I haven't written it down, but it was. It's gone. Fuck, man. Hate this shit. The whiskey, man. I, I have a drop of whiskey and I start forgetting shit. <laughs> the whiskey's oh. finging juice for me. Damn it. Maybe it'll come back to me. Elon Musk, the population. Population. Oh, yes. Yes, mm. yes. I saw a video, right, yeah, of yeah. fucking World Health Organization or one of these fucking government organizations, global, talking about climate change. Mm. And the guy goes, the time of global warming is finished. It is now the time of global boiling. And <laughs> he's gone dramatic, all this shit. And I'm just thinking like, bro, they tell us and preach to us like we can fucking do anything about it. The only people that can do something about it are governments and massive organizations. Yeah. And guess who's the one telling us about global warming all the fucking time? The governments and the massive organizations. What the fuck are we going to do about global warming? Stop fucking, if you care that much about global warming, fucking do something about it. The only people that can do something about it are the fucking governments and mm. are the fucking World Health Organization yeah. and shit. The fuck you telling me for? Yeah. I think so, it's kind of cap. I don't even fucking know if I believe that bullshit. No, nah, it's not real. But what do you mean global boiling? We're getting too hot. Like now. He's being dramatic. Like, yeah, we're about to it's past the point of no return. Fucking I just thought like that stop fucking telling us and do something about it then. What the fuck are you gonna do? Solar panels exist, electric cars exist. If you really cared that much, the government should implement mm. schemes and ways to phase everyone out and put everyone on a solar panel. Put everyone on a solar panel then. Put everyone in a fucking electric car then. Can't cost you that much money. You send trillions and billions to fucking Ukraine and offshore and all mm. this bullshit. They send money everywhere here, there. They wipe their ass of it. You know what I mean? Put some fucking money. Within fucking 10 years, you can put everyone on a solar panel. Mm. So fucking stop telling me about global warming if you're not going to fucking do anything about it. Right? Stick it up your ass. I don't believe in your fucking global warming. Who cares anyway? What are we going to do? We're going to flood and drown? Oh, wow. Boo-hoo. We're going to die. Guess what? We're all going to die. We die anyway. <laughs> so fuck you and fuck your global warming. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I'm sick of it. It's, not, it's bullshit. Yeah. Stop telling me. Like, none, fucking, of, none of it's true. If it's fucking... It's all cap, man. It's all cap. Have you heard of fucking atrazine? This bullshit. Cap-y Speaking of the governments and shit. Cap-y no. You probably have. So atrazine is... Something they, it's a pesticide, right? And they put it in the water and shit. Mm. And they did a test on it with 30 frogs, male frogs. And after a long, uh, a short period, um, the frogs became infertile and four of them turned into girls. <laughs> and they're putting this shit in our water and stuff. Fuck off. And I think, I kind of think there is an agenda to maybe emasculate everyone or turn everyone gay or something. Seems that way. It's weird. Well, we've been saying it for the. All this year on, no, on no. this podcast. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of atrazine, but you can look at it. It's in our drinking water. Apparently. Like I, out of I our taps or some, bottled some water? Some countries have it banned. I think the UK has it banned. Australia might have it banned. Oh, but okay. in the US, oh, thank there's fire. this atrazine. Oh, it's yeah, a, that makes sense if it's in the US. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> it turned the male frogs into females. Mm. Like their dicks fell off and their groups And some pussies. of the women infertile. And that's the thing, man. Wow. They, they might push this overpopulation on us because they want to reduce the population, yes. right? So they scare us and say overpopulate, overpopulate, and people start having less and less kids. And I know a lot of people don't want to have kids. It's a lot more common these days mm. for people to not want kids. Mm. I never used to want kids at all, you know. Yeah. I, and I know a lot of people who say they never want kids. A lot of my homies never want kids, which is weird because like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, everyone wanted kids. 
Yeah, because the world wasn't as fucking scary as now. It's that much crazy shit happening. Well, they it seems like there's crazy shit going on all the time, which there probably is, but... Like, imagine bringing a... F- imagine and a kid these days in a high school. Fucking hell. <laughs> and another thing that annoyed me, while I'm in an angry mood, right? What, I've had this point for a long time. I've never said it right. But what annoys me... Man, it annoys me in TikTok comments and shit. And I feel like I'm the only one that sees through this fucking facade that people, right? There'll be a video on something and someone will comment, well, as an architectural engineer, mm. I can say this and this and this. Or the video is about fucking race cars. And the guy will go, as a mechanic for something, mm. something new, I can say da 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 And they say something stupid. Or it's a video about animals. And he goes, as a training vet, I can say we have animals that come in and da 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 You know what I mean? And people say, as of this, as of that. And they just want to say and sh- look, be like, look at me. Look how important I am. Look, Everyone, look at me. I'm, I'm this. As of this, look, look, fucking me. Stop that. Stop that, all right? I can see through it. I know what you're doing, all right, on these fucking comments. I see people, you see it all the time. Watch, now that I've said it, you'll see it. You'll notice. Yeah, I haven't in the any. comments, people go, as of this, as of this, as of, well, fuck off, man. <laughs> it's your as of this, bro. I love trolling people oh. on the internet, bro. This, oh, I hate I something. Do you know trolling. what I do a lot? I comment shit and then I move on and then I'm like, fuck. I'll go back and I delete the comment. Because I just, I don't want to be involved. Like, I don't want to be yeah, involved. I love being involved, oh, man. I love fucking pushing people's buttons. Because <laughs> me, cause you know that they're taking it serious. Like, they're behind their phone or keyboard going like, just fucking cut it. I'm just sitting there <laughs> laughing my head off. Like, I love that shit, man. But maybe they're not, though. Maybe they're just like you. Oh. They think they're riling you up. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's probably, yeah. I just try not to get involved, man. You see so much stupidity on earth. And it's just better to mm. not engage, I feel like. <laughs> it is hard sometimes, though, man. Yeah, it's. I got in a. I got. I had one of these conversations with a dude on TikTok the other day about mm. logic, right? And the whole thing with logic saying the n word. There was a video of someone asking six nine. Six nine's Mexican, right? Yeah, he says it all the time. Yeah, and the, that's what the guy said. The guy goes, "Oh, there's a, some people have a problem with you saying the n word because you're Mexican." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, this is how I grow up in my area, whatever." Fat Joe too. Fat Joe's. Latino and he's Puerto Rican, I think he says it all the time. Anyway, <laughs> and then a guy in the comments goes, a guy in the comments goes, he still has, he still has, he's still more allowed to say it than logic. I don't care. And I'm thinking, it's but, so, I hate this shit about logic. Doesn't right? logic have a black dad? Logic's dad is black as fuck. <laughs> logic's dad is black. He's a black man, full full on black man, right? And I get that logic talks about it a lot and everyone roasts logic, but it's just stupid because this guy who said that, mm. I, no problem with J. Cole saying it. No problem with Drake saying it. Drake's Canadian, first of all, and he looks fucking white, pretty white to me. Uh, that, that you know mother, what I mean? Drake is not even like He's barely ten. black. No, he looks that white that he's like pasty but, because he's like that weird orange skin color where it's like kind of, you don't know if it's like a tan or he's just a fucking white ass motherfucker. It's like a white dude who was like at the beach for like 20 yeah, minutes. On holiday. That's Drake's color, bro. But this Fuck is, it and up. I said that to the dog guy. I'm like, so hang on. You got blah, da, 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 da. And we, we started talking for a little bit. I'm just thinking, I'm like, I thought it was a cultural thing though. It's but not, you were talking to this random guy. Yeah, I'm like, I thought it was a cultural thing. Mm. That if this word has such an impact and means so much, wouldn't the culture and actual heritage of someone mean more than just their genetics? Because it's like, People have turned mm. it into kind of like a club that they can just decide who's in Who or who's. Say, but yeah. it makes no like if you have no problem with Drake or J Cole saying it, why does everyone get up about logic just because his skin's a bit lighter? Where's the line get drawn from having a shade too light and a shade? Anyway, it was just, I just people like that just blow my mind, and eventually I was just like, all right, I mean, whatever. And it's just I don't get it. I'm not of that culture, but. Is, I don't know, it's just blowing my mind. Like, if you care so much about it, wouldn't it? Do you really care about it, though? Or is it just a club that you people no, can want to be in? You know what I mean? Because if you really cared about it and were offended by it, people's mm-hmm. culture, wouldn't that not just... I don't know, Logic's dad is literally a black dude, like full-on black, not even half black. Logic's dad is black, black. Like, he's not like Drake, like at the no, beach No, Logic, 10. I've seen Logic's like, dad this guy's many black times. As hell. He's got, there's a lot of videos of Logic's dad, mm. and he's a he looks like he's full... Black mum, black dad. So I don't know. It's, it's but he just come out white as fuck. Genetics, man. It's fucking <laughs> genetics, bro. Like you know, your kid can come out with blonde hair or black <laughs> hair, or is. <laughs> it's got, 
<laughs> you just come out wide ass. He's just got big ass lips. And he's he's not like logic skin isn't that far off. Drake's or Je- it's just weird. I don't know. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I'm not black, so I don't really care. Uh, also, I'm Australian, by the way. So like, that shit doesn't even fucking matter. Do like, you see the, the TikTok I sent you of Six Nine doing his gun impression? The gun. Yeah, <laughs> hung, hung, hung. <laughs> He's like, I, I know, know what kind of gun, gun that is. <laughs> He is a fucking <laughs> dickhead. Hang, hang, like, hang. He is a funny fucking guy. No, I, like, I don't mind him. I reckon man. I could hang out with him. Yeah. We'll get him on this podcast one day. How funny would that be? Oh. I'd be too scared. He hang, gets hang, too, hang. he gets too g'd up and like, starts breaking shit. Like I have to kick him out. Like he's a fucking dickhead. It's funny man. too that he's he, a funny dude. It's, right? it's funny that his name is Daniel Hernandez. Yeah, that's our cousin. That's exactly our cousin's name. Same name. Um, have you heard about William Shakespeare? Right. So William mm. Shakespeare was married to a woman named Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Anne Hathaway's current husband looks exactly like, like William, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare. And Shakespeare had written a love letter to his wife. Life is too short to love you only once. I promise I will search for you in the next life. Huh. Wow. And Anne Hathaway's husband isn't even like a famous dude. He's just a guy. So, And he just looks exactly like looks Shakespeare. Looks exactly like Shakespeare. Wow. And Shakespeare happened to be married to a woman named Anne Hathaway. Wow. Interesting, isn't it? Strange world we live in. Unless it is a reincarnation of fucking... Big Dick Will when he's found his... Well, that's what I'm saying. He's looking for Was his that shit fucking, even real? Like, were these people even fucking real? I don't fucking <laughs> know, bro. Were they like, fuck, there's no evidence of any of this shit. It's just, it's fucking everyone's just telling stories <laughs> to each other. All right. I've got a few more points. Yeah. Um, have you heard of World Coin? No. So, World Coin. Right? No, 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 the creator no, no, no. ChatGPT launches World Coin. Mm. It's a global cryptocurrency supposed to increase economic opportunity... And the only way to get some is to prove you are human by visiting an orb and providing a scan of your eye. And I've seen videos of this, right? So these orbs are like, it's like an orb that are set in certain places around the world. You have to line up in a massive queue and people are doing it. You can see videos of the queue. You go to the orb, you scan your eye and then you, that's the proof that you are a human and you can get some world coin. You have to be human by scanning your eye at one of these. Fuck, I'm not giving no cunt any of my fucking what I'm saying, yeah. Mate, come on. Don't be that stupid. But it's literally... Fuck that. that he can shove age his of robots. point up his dick. The age of robots, the age of fucking... The age of Aquarius. Sh- serious. Fuck shit's that. Gone. And then what? You just uh, you just uh, you can just access this coin on fucking it's coin crypto, spot. Man. But what the fuck? Speaking of these coins, man, I'm getting back into XRP. Apparently next year mm. it's supposed to be big for crypto. All right, so I'm slowly dollar yeah, cost bear, averaging. It, we've, we've been in this bear market now for a couple of years, so that's a, that to me tells me it's almost over, my we've boys. We've been talking about crypto since the very beginning, Ooh. and um, yeah, I'm starting to, to yeah. hodl a little bit. Oh, yeah. Stack up my coins, man. I'm going to start stacking up some things um, too. Fuck it. Um, another thing, September 23, right? A lot of movies and TV shows that involve worldwide disasters... Mm. Happen on the date September 23 This is fucking pretty weird right? Mm. So in the Big Bang Theory There's an episode about an asteroid colliding with Earth Supposed to happen September 23 mm. This is the end The movie the Rapture happens September 23 Seeking a friend for the end of the world Movie September 23 Yeah but what year? Doesn't matter They're all different years or whatever But the yeah. date is always September 23 Julie and Julia a meteor hits Earth, September 23. Mm. Knowing solar flare, September 23. Tomorrowland, shit pops off, September 23. Little Shop of Horrors, shit pops off, September 23. And Ghostbusters, evil gets released on September 23. What does that mean? We've lived through like 20 end of the world. <laughs> Remember 2004, <laughs> the 2000s, fucking 2012. Yeah. 2004? Remember everyone was just going on that we're going to end and shit and... Now, I feel like it does happen every couple of like years. Like, every couple of years, the world's going to end and we've lived through every single one. 2012 was... F- I was... Kind of f- I was scared. Yeah, that was a big one. You know that I mean? was... <laughs> bro, and after I found out about that meteor, that there was potential... Like, it actually could have happened because of this giant fucking asteroid. So, maybe they were just gene everyone up, like, just in case it did it happen. It did happen, They're yeah. like, look, you know... We- so they kind of prepared everyone mm. in like a covert way. Well, we spoke about this a couple episodes yeah. ago, bro. You can look this shit up yourself, bro. There was a ginormous asteroid on course with Earth. And back then we didn't have the tech to like divert it or shoot at it. So we were basically just, our governments were just preparing for the end. 
and they were too scared to tell us because they knew everyone was going to lose their shit. Start riding. I would have gone straight to Woolies and started stealing a whole <laughs> Looting bunch. I would have, I'd be the first guy down there with a little hacky sack of loot, <laughs> loot and shit, bro. I wouldn't give a fuck, man. So they made the right call. I mean, you saw it with COVID with your own eyes. People were looting toilet paper and shit. Fighting that was grannies. crazy, man. I can't believe that happened. No, I don't and know. Everyone's just forgotten about yeah, we're it. We're back to normal. We're just back to normal. I can't believe, bro. I can't believe that happened. Like I, that, I, we lived through that. That's fucked. To be fair, I'm surprised how quick, even though it was two years, flew by how quick we kind of- like, Come out happened of it. Because I was, I would admit, I lost my mind a little bit. I was on the bandwagon because I used to be big into conspiracies. And I know this type of shit's- out there and it's happening and they're plotting and scheming but i thought that was it i really thought all right this is how they're gonna do it you know this well, is like the end of the world not the end of the world but like well, the keep us new like, world order oh yeah 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 type of shit you know and i'm surprised I, I still think it might just be preparation for a further thing you know what i mean but like they've kind of set in place and what's crazy too i saw a picture of this actually of the the plague in in 18 18 something or right there's a photo these people standing there with these masks They're wearing on, masks and shit. And they have a sign saying, um, get vaccinated or go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the same shit. Like, it's yeah. always been like this. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's pretty- it's Happened before. Yeah, it's pretty weird. And um, I dare say it will happen again when me and you have grandkids or some probably, shit. You know what I mean? That, that When shit gets a bit too crazy, the government will remind us that they're the top dog. That's just how it is. It's always going to be like that. I've got two more points related to each other. And then I can put this phone down. All right. This is a, uh, I'm going to read this one, right? So, guy spent 437 days alone at sea. Okay. Jose Alvarenga in 2012 set sail on a fishing trip with fishermen named Cordova in seven meter skip boat. Right. A storm came in and their motor failed as they returned to Mexico. Search party called off after two days. Right? So their motor shut off when they were returning home. And they were just floating. They sent out a search party. It was called off after two days. Four months in, Cordova gave up and refused to eat and starve to death. All right? So this guy now is on his boat by himself. 11 months oh. in, Alvarenga had sailed 5,000 miles across the Pacific and survived eating birds and fish. He was found in the Marshall Islands in 2014, 438 days later. <laughs> and when he returned home, he was sued by Cordova's family as they accused him of eating Cordova's body, which he denied. Holy fuck. Imagine going through all that and then you Holy get sued. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. First of all, how the fuck was he catching birds? Birds and With fish. his bare hand. But fuck, I don't know, man. He probably, they had fishing gear. But, um, yeah, well, yeah. So, he, for, it, it, yeah. If you've got the f- fishing gear and a bit of bait, you'd have to catch some fish and then turn that into bait and then eat some and shit. So he's just using the dead fish to lure the birds and when they come in the boat, he's like yeah. clubbing them over the head Must and be, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking he, poor he, cunt. He really denied eating the dude's body though and he was a very religious guy, so he probably didn't. But uh, Yeah, you'd probably just throw him over, right? I heard a lot of things about people getting lost at sea. Did you see the Aussie, the Aussie guy, guy with, with the, his with dog. The dog? How long was he gone for? I think that was like, like three months three or four months. months. Like, yeah. And then... Speaking on the same topic, you might have seen this because mm. your favorite TikToker spoke about this. Mm. Um, four men, Nigerian immigrants, survive on an oil <laughs> tanker's rudder. Yeah. 14 day journey on a tanker's rudder. They hoped to land in Europe but ended up in Brazil. <laughs> Two of the men asked to be sent back to Nigeria <laughs> because they wanted to land in Europe, but they got Brazil instead. And then um, their food began to run out on day 10, so they just survived on seawater. <laughs> How fucked up is that? He's and drinking the seawater. Fuck and that. And you can see the video of and where the, they were on. The sun would be pumping them, bro. They'd be blacker than what they were when they left. Bro, they were on a space Fuck. as big as this fucking yeah. table. <laughs> fucking four of the dudes on the rudder of a fucking oil. How were the seas not rough? Oh, and like, how'd they bro. even stay above? Where were they sleeping? What were they holding on to? Man, it's fucking wild. You can look and that shit And they ended up in Brazil. Mm. Of all the fucking places in the world. Two of them asked to go back home. Yeah, Imagine g- going through that journey. <laughs> And you just end up back home anyway. I'd, I'd honestly just rock with it and just go to Brazil. Fuck That's it. That's what two of them did. So. Just stay there. 
That's funny as fuck. So after all of that, then you've got to go through the bullshit of like, what does this, our gov- the Brazilian government do with these two motherfuckers? We've got to like find out what language they speak and shit. Most of them, most of them let you stay. Yeah, that's why they do it. That's why these motherfuckers do it because we let them stay. Fuck it. My views have changed. I used to be a very against them letting them stay out of here, but right now, I let them all in. Fuck it. That's, fuck that's, it. That's, that's the the more the merrier, like, bro. Let them all in. Who em, gives a imagine fuck? Imagine you're in a situation at home that bad that you That you need to go, jump on the rudder oh, of a boat. Fuck it, man. Let them stay, man. Like, I, my it. views have changed a lot too. Yeah, you know, I used to be very gone. against yeah. it. I, I am against, though, the ones that come. Like, this one goes to all the fucking, like, islanders. The ones that come and then cause trouble. That I'm against. Those uh, mo- that's different. Let them stay they're out. They're not, they're not illegal they're not like immigrants. Asylum seekers <laughs> yeah, and they're shit. not. They're just fucking. But if, if you're a fucking. Fuck it. I'll let one of them camp in the backyard. <laughs> Man, a lot of. Most of them are just in a shit situation. And then imagine, like, you get greeted by racist fucking Aussies and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you've already gone through so much bullshit. And you know what the thing is? People are scared. This kid, what if they're terrorists? They're going to come blow us up and shit. It's like, bro, how often has that ever happened? You know what I mean? Like, mm. the uh, asylum seeker comes disguised. Like, mm. a, it's a terrorist, but disguises as an asylum seeker mm. gets in the country and blows shit up. Like, yeah, stop watching the <laughs> fucking news, man. You know what I mean? That's all my points, bro. So, do you have anything? Uh, I don't think so, man. Yeah, did, did, it, did it feel like a flu that six weeks? Oh, or were you just it. doing this normal no, shit? Like, fuck it, flu. It flew. Yeah, well, the weeks are flying by, man. But for me, the first two weeks flu and then the last four weeks of that holiday were fucking dragged on <laughs> i was like fucking get me out of here I was six like, weeks is always going to be six weeks even if it goes quick it's still six weeks man it's a, it's a decent time long bro. goddamn time bro man fucking. it's good to have you back bro and, oh know, feels bro. good man god especially, damn especially all the things we got coming man that you i'm Ooh. keen for the youtube stuff man same same it's gonna be so fun um, it's gonna be so fun and now that you, you you've got wednesdays and thursdays off we can use that as our like filming days yeah, we need homies, man. We need yeah, that's the problem. We need we need some homies. We need and we need, we need yeah, a, a we good need camera. Them. That's why the thing when we can start paying people to have days off and shit. Like I'll give you five hundred bucks that call in sick and come, come to, to the, the pub with us. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, bro. Seriously, because like fucking hell, you need the content. That's why I never wonder how these people or oh, on weekends, but like yeah, we'll probably film on weekends most of the time. But like like these Steve will do it videos and shit. And it's like. Group of fucking ten of them and shit. They're walking around and shit. And yeah, like, but that's because fucking Steve's fucking shouting. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, you know, like, how's his trade over there? Is that a? Tr- what are you doing? You're looking at? No, no trade. I've been watching gold all day. Um, I might jump. I'm just waiting for confirmation to see if that's a reversal back to the upside because it's a ginormous downtrend. Gold has been gold's been downtrending for like the past three weeks. But the problem is, is that I don't want to. I'm waiting to see if that's just a pullback to continue down or it's actually starting to go back up again before I jump in. Because gold's fucking scary, man. That's a hard pair to trade. Hard pair. Did you watch that podcast I sent in the Discord of QBanks and... When did you send it? I don't think... A couple of days ago. No. In the video sharing tab. Watch that video. QBanks is literally the fucking goat, bro. This cunt is... And it's like the advice, if like he said, he goes... If you want to make quick money, he goes, trade gold and US 30, which we can on Pepperstone US 30. He goes, he reckons those two just move so quick and so much. But gold is fucking scary. Gold doesn't even know. Like gold just does whatever the fuck it wants to do. It's fucking, it's hard to tell where gold's going, bro. It really is. It's 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 hard to trading just technical analysis because you, you. That's the thing about Billy that I noticed. Billy is very into macro analysis, news. Mm. He trades a lot of news and actual shit that's happening in the world. Yeah, he yeah, barely yeah. uses technical analysis. Mm. That's how he trades. And I've never really met anyone that does that. It's all about technical analysis yeah. for most people. Mm. But with something like gold or oil, like it makes sense, you know, because the news moves it a lot. But not just that. The thing that's hard about gold is that the banks have their hand in it so much. That's the mm. that's the issue. You, like it could be downtrending, and then all of a sudden it just goes. Yeah, they change. And the, like you just got like it's kind of gold to me. I feel like it's kind of like a bit of a gamble. There's a little bit of gambling involved because you just don't. I don't think so. No, it's not. But to me, I feel like it because I'm so I don't ever trade gold. So now that I'm trying to transition to gold, it's kind of like Ooh. if you're scalping, it's you know it's yeah. pretty. I mean, look at that. Look at that. See? Pull back, pull back, pull back, down, down, down. It's pretty, you know, 
you mark your levels and everything. You check the charts, the the high time frames. Mm. You just yeah, I don't know. We'll it's like anything for it. Yeah. But um, oh, man, I've got nothing, Brad. I've got to do a better job for next week of uh, noting these points nah, down it, again. It's, it was good to just you know get rid of all that shit on my phone, man. It's just I hate. I kind of hate doing it. Like I hate. I wish I could remember the points. Oh right. yeah, yeah. But hate, that bit's impossible. I hate bringing them up like so randomly. You know what I mean? I like when we're just flowing kind of off each other. But it's shit you want to talk about. You don't know how to fucking bring it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, so my, we're just kind of yeah. like, and then news happened. And yeah, no, my short term memory is dog poo as well. So I could yeah. I couldn't even remember a single point if I tried. Yeah. That's why I need to write them down or save them and shit because especially after yeah. whiskey, man. I have a whiskey, I fucking start to forget shit. <laughs> um, remember the fucking. The mukbang and shit we did. Yeah, that was good. that was fun. What are we gonna do for eighty? That's yeah, that's around the corner. Yeah, what can we do for that? What happened to animals? I want to get animals, man. It's so hard. They they don't respond and shit. I might rock up to a place. <laughs> Fucking steal a like a monkey, steal a snake. The uh, the place I went to, Golden Ridge Animal Farm. They'll do. It. Where, where's that? It's about uh, it's in a uh, Dural, about forty minutes. Okay. Um, Golden Ridge Animal Farm And we just Bring them all in here We just squeeze them in here Like well, 30 animals yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll probably just have Like a little bunny And a chicken mm. And shit Small animals Well we've got a bunny At Nan's house now mm. You can bring I some gra- bunnies I'll grab that bunny What are we going to do But once we have the bunny I don't know That's it play, <laughs> play, play with these and shit I don't know <laughs> I want to do an episode Where some cunt comes in With a fucking animal Python And gives, and it, gives shit, us like yeah. A little demonstration Yeah like that's give, what I want to do too Give him the mic We can do that bro Yeah, yeah. We just got to fucking Pay these motherfuckers I'll do it Find the place to do mm. it Yeah we got to Google um, Live stream again would, would be good That was fun Yeah we will do Live stream again the We stream. will do music reviews too At some point Yeah um, Whatever man Give us ideas Join the discord just Let us fucking know man Join the discord Let us know um, Go to tripjacketapparel.com.au Yes, I, up, I updated all that So it's in the fucking links in our bios So check it out um, It did get updated Check out my song Danger Check it out Let me know <laughs> Tomorrow it. right? Tomorrow yes, As of recording mm. But it's probably already out When you're watching oh, yeah. this yes, Monday sir. 6 p.m. Um, oh, man. Yeah I, I don't know man I think that's it That's, that's only, it uh, man. Hour 25 That's it um, Don't worry I'll be back I'll be back with my wild Wild points next week <sighs> And Joey K will be back next week as well. So thank you guys very much again for sticking with us. Some fun stuff is coming. Um, we're going to be recording our first official YouTube video next week. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. All that shit. Donate. Give us your money. We don't need your money. Um, <laughs> but if you want, it'll help. But anyway, salute. Peace out, my boys. Thank you very much. Joey.